Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! Men, we don't know what we did. <laughs> and now for something completely different. All right, I have a question to ask you. What do women want? A dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Not a little tiny one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not, um, I think that depends on the woman, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. In a non-dirty way, what do women want? <laughs> a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I give up. You're not gonna go anywhere with this one. Okay, I'll just okay. let's see what Mickey Flanagan says, and you you tell me if you concur after. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> Mickey. So I'm not getting nervous. Show answer. us the way. <laughs> you see a woman a bit chipper. You say, what you so cheerful for? I've got a new top. <laughs> you see a woman skipping along the road. <laughs> She bought a new top, she wore it to the party, and then she took it back! <laughs> Got me money back, not even a credit note! You don't take it back though. No, there's only two things I know about women. They love a new top and they love talking. Ooh. To a Sorry, we have a dog fart. Oh my god. Whoa. Jesus. Dog farts. That'll clear your sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> when you have six dogs, seven dogs. Brad has a lot of them to bring. I can get away with time. anything. But yeah, that was that was a dog. He could shit his pants and the dogs did it. <laughs> I have. Okay. <laughs> On the bike ride. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, okay. Here we go. All right. The point where men look and think, how do they do it? How do they keep talking when there's nothing to say? <laughs> you never see two women just staring past each other. <laughs> they just look at each other and they go for it, then they? Time will come up. <laughs> if I see the woman try to end the phone call, it takes my wife about an hour to end the phone call. She says bye about 50 times. <laughs> bye then, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're joking, really? And my wife really loves talking, and I cannot fulfill all her talking needs. That's the bottom line. Thank God she's got friends for that. And often she'll have what she calls a girly night in, so they can all get together and talk. This is inspired quite a lot by the fact that one of them is down. <laughs> if a woman is down, her sisters gather round to build her up. And we know why she's down. Because of that bastard. <laughs> yeah. They told her he was a bastard. But did she listen? No. She said she loves a bastard. She likes the thrill and the excitement of the bastard. The unpredictability of the bastard man. Who wants a kind, reliable man? <laughs> and now he's fucked her mum. <laughs> he's done the milf gilf combo. <laughs> Legend or bastard, you decide. So my wife says to me, all the girls are coming round on Thursday night, what are you going to do? This is her way of saying, the girls are coming round on Thursday night, you must leave the building! <laughs> I'm happy to go. 
I look in the fridge before I leave. There's eight bottles of carver there. Of course. There's five of them coming, mate. <laughs> when I leave, they're all in the front room. Chit, 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 chat, chat, chat. And I say, ciao, Bella, ciao, Bella. And I leave. And when I come back, I'd have thought things would have calmed down a bit. No. It's chaos in the front room. No one's listening to anyone. There's always one who's just drifted off to the stereo to have a little dance on her own. First I was a queen, I was petrified. Then I can never leave a by my side. Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. There's always one crying. There's always one crying. The old man, the come on, come on, come on. They say, come on. And I see all this through the window. <laughs> and as I come in, my wife comes to the door. She goes, don't come in here. Somebody's crying. <laughs> and I say, funny enough, babe, I was going to give it a miss. <laughs> and I go to bed. It's got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. And I say, no more of it. It's her night. Yet if I go out for the evening, my wife is deeply interested <laughs> in every single detail. <laughs> it starts in the afternoon. She starts following me about. <laughs> so where are you going tonight? <laughs> I say, I don't know, we've not decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> what if you can't get in? <laughs> what, the pub? <laughs> you have to get in the pub to drink lager. <laughs> Who's coming along? I don't know. No one's really confirmed yet. Oh. Babe, this sounds like a disaster. <laughs> I say, look, I'm not worried about it. Don't you worry about it, really, it's fine. And as I leave, she says, say hello to everybody for me. <laughs> Can I tell you here and there, girls, we never say hello <laughs> for you, all right? Carry on asking till the end of time. <laughs> no man has ever walked into a boozer. <laughs> My wife said to say hello. Because <laughs> all the other men would say, shut up, you dickhead. <laughs> no one passes on the say hello for me. That's from their world. You're in our world now. And when I get home, she's on me again. All right. Did you have a good night? I say, yes, thanks. Any gossip? Any scandal? I say, no, we just had a few treats and a few laughs. Mm. She says, so how's Sue then? How's Sue at the moment? How is Sue? I say, I don't know, do I? Sue weren't there. Did you not ask Tony how Sue was? <laughs> I didn't even ask Tony how he was. <laughs> Are you out or were you out? True. So That's true. Funny. I agree with that. We don't really go out to pubs and stuff, but... Occasionally, the girls and I will get together and make voodoo dolls. <laughs> <laughs> of me, for some reason. I, I do have a couple of bald ones here. How's your back feeling? <laughs> yeah, it always feels like it's got a knife in it all the time. Thank you. Oh, that's terrible. I don't stab it in the back. I just pull the spine out a little bit. You know, girls, <laughs> they talk about things. Everything. Everything. Not everything. And they go to each other, oh, don't tell anybody else. Don't tell anybody else. And what do they do? It's whispering. They'll go to somebody and they'll go, okay, don't tell anybody this because I'm not supposed to tell you this. But. This some, some people do that. Guys do that too. No, no. Oh, no, guys do that too. We keep our word. If somebody says, if our guy says, don't tell anybody, we don't tell anybody. Uh, okay. It's a code. Fuck the you guys code. apparently have not learned that code yet. 
you gossipy hens. <laughs> you slimy twat, fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna drink it here, I'm gonna spit it out. <laughs> So, what did you learn? Okay. Anything? Did you learn anything? Yeah, men are dicks. <laughs> I just go to bed when the girls get together. I just I go I go play a game, watch a movie, go to bed. By the girls, it's like my sister and my daughter and my daughter-in-law. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. It's just stay out of the room, stay away, and you're safe, guys. Never, and we you don't, never say from a voodoo doll. We don't huh? need to talk much. We can communicate very directly without the gossip. Without all the drama. Men, we know how to be friends. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything else. I'm just going to right. be. All right. Well, fine. That's fine. Okay. So, anyhow. Hope you enjoyed that. Yes. Um, watch our whole Mi Mickey Flanagan playlist. Yeah, okay. Mickey's good. I like him. I'll link it on our description and at He's the very, end. very cute. Yeah. You can go to our channel and just look through playlists and you can find some things a little easier. So do that. Yes. Do it. Do it now. Please subscribe. Uh -huh. Click like and the bell icon because your patronage is very important to us. I feel so dirty trying to sell all that. You are dirty. <laughs> Dirty man. Just leave the money on the stanky, table. Stanky, stanky fingers. <laughs> leave the money on the Michael. table. Michael. Yes. Shout out to right. Michael for calling him stanky. Okay, <laughs> bye. Oh, wow. You are definitely not afraid of dessert. You know, I wish I were secure enough to throw on any old thing and call it an outfit. Come on. You have so much body confidence. I mean, who wouldn't with those strong legs? So muscular. I'm jealous of how thick with strength they are. Hey, I like your tie. Thanks. Men, we know how to be friends.